Alrighty guys, we are back. And since the last episode, I spent about half a day just running around doing some mutant killing missions in Cordon and Garbage, so... Uh, oops. Actually ended up with quite a bit of money. I think I did about six missions, plus the ones we had already done that I turned in here, so... I think we'll buy some upgrades. Oh, pretty uh, before we head back to Yantar. And I wanted to get... This uh, grenade launcher for this thing. So we'll buy that. And... Let's see what else we could get. Oh, I already have that. These two are actually pretty good. I was looking at these ones earlier. Like, I'm not sure how good two wound healing actually is. Uh, same with, like, one health restoration. Like, it doesn't sound that good. So, just because of how expensive these are, I think I'm going to skip them for now, even though we have quite a bit of money. Uh, I do think we'll get this, though. And also this. These are also quite expensive and not super useful. I think that's all we'll get for the armor for now. Actually, recoil, recoil down is quite nice on the assault rifle, so we'll grab that. That's also nice. Don't want to spend like all my money, but can spend a decent bit. Oh, maybe we'll just finish upgrading it actually. Flatness or handling? I think we'll go flatness, since it's already got this handling one. Alright. That should be good. I already have the grenade launcher as well. And I suspect we'll be doing X16 pretty soon, so I'm gonna buy some more ammo. I also didn't bother recording all those missions I did since they were just like generic stuff that I've already recorded doing like twice. Uh, the one interesting thing that happened was one of the rewards was actually this crystal, which I put in this container and we'll sell it to the scientists. Okay, ammo. We'll buy another 60 shots, like 10 more shotgun ammo. Oh, actually, there was one other thing I wanted to buy. I was going to grab a night vision. And this night vision includes a headlamp too, which is nice. So I'll grab that. I'm not sure grenades anyways. It's actually cheaper than I thought they'd be. We'll grab the grenades. Gee, how heavy are these? Oh, they're quite light as well. I think I'll sell these ones. Our inventory is pretty good. <clears throat> Let's try out the night vision. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna guess that drains the battery pretty fast though. Alright, so I'll run back to Yantar. I'll just take the garbage route. And I'm not gonna bother recording it. So I'll see you guys in one second. Alright, just made it to Yantar. Didn't run into any mutants or anything on the way. It's not raining, which is nice. It's raining at the bar. These ecologists really look like mercenaries. 
Oh, one other thing that I got. I got this little add-on that changes... Or it lets you put the pistol in the binocular slot, so... I don't really use binoculars since we have a scoped rifle. So now we can pull out the pistol as well. I'm guessing these guys are just fighting mutants or zombies. This place was pretty safe last time. Oh, fractures. I don't think fractures are that dangerous, although they... The one other time I saw when it killed a guy, so... Maybe they do a lot of damage. I think they're all dead now. Oh, I thought that was a dead one. Let's go talk to Sakharov. The uh, Sai helmet should be done. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Yep, we'll be heading into X-16. Got the side helmet, got the mission. So this is disable the miracle machine, disable the brain scorcher. And the brain scorcher is the one, like, in radar, I think. And the miracle machine is the one here. They have, like, different names. There's also, I think one of them's called, like, the rainbow emitter. Which you see used sometimes. Actually, let me check his missions first. I always forget to do that. Okay. She thought these would be worth more. Oh, there's the Psy Helmet. Should I sell this? I guess we'll keep that. It's kind of heavy, but we have a lot of weight to spare, so... It's okay. Alright, disable the miracle machine. I guess we have no reason to wait. Probably be nighttime when we come out, but we'll just like run back over here. We have the night vision too, so not too worried. Quite a bit of gunfire. I think we'll see if, see if we can head in through the hole in the wall up here. See if it's there. Sometimes it's not. But it's a good way to get in. Unless you skip like the road that leads up there. She usually has like mutant spawns on it, zombies. Oh, gotta load this. Yeah. Stick a grenade in it too. And got some friendlies up here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like we can get in that way, actually. More friendlies. There's even a guy up here. I am surprised how <clears throat> generally there's like so many friendly stalkers around just in like every zone. Or almost every zone. Like, even up here there's friendly guys? Wow. Usually this is like packed with zombies. drink out of the way before we head in there. Oh yeah, these guys killed everything. Looks like they looted it too. That's neat. I think I updated one of my add-ons and it added this little hand grab animation. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it looks like when you pick something up off the ground, your little hand comes out and grabs it. That's a nice touch. I think we'll take a look around from up here. I got a snork here. Let's see if I can take it out. Try and hit its head. Nope. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> Is it gonna come over here? Not sure if it'll know how to get up here. Doesn't seem like there's that many mutants around, though. I'm trying to tell if that's like a dead bandit or a dead controller. Seem like that snork is coming over. Okay, I guess we'll start heading over to the entrance. Oh, you can get to Dead City from here. Not that I want to. I don't know where that snork went. It hasn't even reset yet. Nope. <laughs> I'm surprised they can even climb that, honestly. Oh, 
Oh my god. What's a controller? Got a lot of stuff off it too. It's nice if these ecologists come in here and clear everything out, man. Don't usually see that. It's like almost totally cleared. How do we get in here? I thought the entrance was like right here. We might have to go up and jump in from the second level. Unless we can like... Oh, I think we can maybe break down this... wall. I can hear like those little sigh things somewhere. Yeah. I'm just gonna test this and see if it damages me. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't. Let me just make sure. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Oh, hello. That was a real one. <laughs> Little fake ones around. Looks like we can't break in that way. Guess I'll pop some... Yeah, Dylan. Wonder if that was the same snork and it came and got its revenge. Oh man, I forgot how bad Yagilin messes you up. It's probably not the best time to take it. I believe if you walk, these don't damage you. Yeah. I should, like, just figure that out a couple weeks ago. air in here. Not sure what that is. Doesn't look like it's an actual anomaly. What's that? Is that an Electro or a Poltergeist? I guess just an Electro. Yeah. They kind of look like Poltergeist sometimes. Oh, I could have got in this way too. Hard save, and we should be good to go in. Okay, let's see what they've done with X16 in this mod. And I guess we'll just keep out the shotgun. How dark is it in here? Uh, yeah, we'll keep the flashlight on. Hello. Not sure where that guy came from.
And typically, there's quite a few snorks down here, like two or three at least. There's like a head. Okay, let's see. There's one. No, no, that's a phantom or whatever. I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be called. I just call them like phantoms. See them running around down there. It'd be nice if I could hit them from here. I think I might have tagged that one. Come on back. Oh crap, no, 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 I was reloading. <laughs> Damn. Let's get a bit closer. They might jump up from here. Let's see. They have a pretty long jumping range. No, it's a zombie. Oh. There we go. It's kind of hard to hit when they're just like running around down there. They move at like really erratic angles. There might have been one more. Let's like wait here for a second and see if it comes over. Oh, I'm hungry. I guess I should just eat now rather than later. Oops. There we go. I don't think the other one's going to come over. wounded. Okay, I see another one running around up here. I'll be able to get it when it comes down this way. Oh, might be stuck up there actually. Sucker somewhere. I think that was a real bloodsucker. I heard the noise and these things like spawned in, so. Yep, that's a real bloodsucker. Generally, it has a problem with the stairs, but. Let's see. The stairs bug out its pathfinding. I think it's like right below me. Let's head this way and see if we can see it. Fake ones. Oh. I did wound it. I don't think it can get up here. I don't think it knows how to use the stairs. Is that it? Oh, 
Okay, it's like stuck over here. I think. It's really hard to tell with all these phantoms around. I think that's blood. Just make sure these aren't like damaging my armor. Oh, okay. Never know. Let's get rid of these. This one's not going to go away. Okay, I need to deal with this bloodsucker. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I'm sure it didn't die. Oh, just saw it. Hmm. Seems like it shows itself more if you keep moving or- Oh, oh, fuck. Jesus, it could get up the stairs. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't, like, sitting here looking this way while it came up behind me. Mm -hmm. I'll leave my shotgun a bit longer. It's at 94%. This room should be clear now. Let's make sure. Bathroom's clear. Oh, nice, a med kit. Let's see, was that a full med kit? Oh, it was. That's nice. Guess I'll slap this thing on full auto. I was thinking about taking the scope off, but I don't think I will. Actually, I think the next time I'll use it probably be like the zombie room, so I'll leave it on burst actually. So we'll be like sniping their heads. I think there was one more real snork up here. Too worried about those zombies going the other way. Yeah. I like still get on shotgun ammo. Yeah, have to be like a little bit careful. I should have brought more, honestly. Didn't really need more assault rifle ammo. That little hand animation. Can't remember what add on it was from. Might have been the one that adds like food and drug animations. Not a hundred percent sure though.
You know, disassemble these now because they're kind of heavy. Okay, now's a good time to repair if I need to. Yeah, I think I will. Should be fine, yeah. Everything else is fine. Just watching down this hall because usually stuff spawns down there. Like snorks or sometimes a bloodsucker, I think. Doesn't seem like there's anything in these crates. and that's it. Okay, I think that's all the boxes around. Yeah, I heard a bloodsucker noise. I think we're almost at the zombie room. Which also means there's gonna be a probably be a timer. Which usually isn't a problem. I think I saw something. Yeah. Fuck. God damn, two bloodsuckers, huh? Oops. Need a bandage. And med kit. So rifle's actually still really good at close range. Let's heal up for a minute. Yeah, it's kind of a funny bug. You can't drink water when you already have a radiation cure on you. Save my battery a little bit. Alright, now we can drink some water. I think I'm still bleeding a tiny bit. I kind of wish there was an icon for bleeding because... When you have like a slight bleed, the effect on the screen isn't very obvious. Alright, I think I'll pop another med kit. We have so many, might as well. This guy did a lot of damage to me. They only hit me like two or three times. Wasn't expecting there to be two, so I sort of like blew all my ammo on the first one. And just ran out for the second one. Okay, let me save since there's probably going to be a timer. Yeah.
Really don't need the flashlight that much. Oh, it's like a civilian zombie. Snork. Usually this is like full of gun zombies. Might as well kill as much stuff as possible before the timer starts. Assuming there is a timer. I think he's dead. So I see just like three or four civilian zombies. Not seeing any gun zombies. Is there not a timer? That's surprising. There's like always a timer. And hey, if they don't want to time me, I'm fine with that. Kind of hate timers in like any game. <laughs> Though this part's always I mean I've never had a problem with the timer here. Especially with like the good side home and it gives you like four minutes, I think, or like three. switches before I forget. There's this what starts the timer. No? Okay. Almost forgot about that part. This thing's kind of cool. It's like a big brain in the tank. It's really weird. <laughs> All right, a couple more zombies and it looks like we're just about done here. We still have the tunnel to get out at the end. Oh, got two with one shot. Oh, that one's not dead. Yeah. Bandage is nice. Expecting two snorks right there. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about this little part. Anyways, we have to go this way. Okay. 
Oh shit, dwarf. What's going on? Wait. What? Okay. Awkward spot to fight a dwarf. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You like hit the switch and it does that collapse animation, but it also spawns enemies. Armor's holding up really well. But maybe I'll top it off, I don't know. Ah, I think it's okay. Is our ammo? Actually, like, running low on shotgun ammo. What the hell is that? A survival kit. actually gonna block me. <laughs> okay, I was a little bit worried. Right, let's see what they've got for us up here. Probably. It's usually what's up here. Luckily, they give you a wall right here too, <laughs> which makes it really easy. It seems like controllers don't have too much health in this mod, which is nice. It's like some mods just make them super tanky. really quickly actually, see if it updated. Alright, so my next mission is... Oh, go talk to someone named Gatekeeper. So I guess we'll be getting sent to turn off, uh... Yeah. X-19. Okay. That's usually how the storyline goes. So we haven't been to X8 yet. Which usually you do first, don't you? I think you do X8, then X16. And go turn off the Brain Scorcher. I'm wondering when we'll go to X8. Alright, I'm taking bets on... Uh, if they actually put a pseudo-giant down here. <laughs> I'm hoping not, but they probably did. We'll see. Usually you can run past it.
I saw a snork for a second. See anything up there? The tunnel actually looks different from how I remember it. I'm not sure if it actually is different though. Usually there's like flaming pipes down here. Oh, there's the flaming pipe. Wait, is that a flaming pipe? Or is that a pyro geist? It's hard to tell from here. It's not moving, so I think it's the flaming pipe. But it's like that weird little central area. It kind of looks like a poltergeist. I think it's... I'm not sure what that is. Looks weird. Looks like an anomaly. Actually, don't know how to get past this. Oops. Okay. Might just like sneak around the corner. See, I might just get fried here. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you get like just enough room to sneak past it. All right, I believe the pseudo giant is usually like up in this area. If there is one, is that a fire? Yeah. In fact, I think I hear it. Let's see. Oh, hit it with a grenade launcher. Damn, missed my shot. He's looking this way. Mm, it's kind of dark down here. Shotgun is almost running dry. A little bit worrying. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure the pseudo joint like comes around this corner and blows these boxes out of the way. It was like designed to do that. Let me loot these first. Alright, let's see. Actually, there might be more snorks up here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I knew it. Oh god, it slowed me. Run. Let me try a grenade on it. Come around the corner, buddy. Got a treat for you. It's not dead, is it? There's no way it was that easy. Unless that grenade landed like directly underneath it somehow. So it kind of bucked out, I think. I'll try out my grenade launcher. Might not be able to fit through here, actually. Okay, come up here. Oh, that shoots at a weird angle. Okay. I think I just whiffed with that. Let's try that. That was a bit better. I think I'll save my last grenade. Oh hell, why don't we use it? When else when else are we gonna use it? <laughs> this aimer's kinda weird. There we go. Nice. That's like the best use for the grenade launcher, basically. This guy wasn't that hard. He was limping even before we used the grenade launcher, so... It's like, what, like two magazines? Maybe a bit less? It's not too bad. Not sure how much damage that hand grenade did, though. Oh, he's auto-equipped, that's nice. I think we're almost out. I'm not gonna bother opening these. There's so many and they're mostly empty.
Yeah, this looks like the exit. Gonna have to buy a ton of shotgun ammo. Once we get back. Alright, let's get out of here. It's always kind of cool how there's no loading screen here. Oh, I thought it would be a lot darker out. Nice. Guess we weren't down there for that long. land on this fence but you fall like straight down oh god okay we're okay are there any stashes nearby this one like up here oh this got like really dark i wonder if we have time to grab those stashes so it wasn't very dangerous here last time we were here a couple hours ago, so might be a good time to grab them. They're like ecologists running around. Let's see, if this respawns I might just go back. This one was like due north, and there was one over here. see anything. There's a few lit campfires. Oh shit. Well, there should be some cover nearby. Nice timing. Okay, find shelter. It's supposed to show me on my uh, PDA, right? I think I'll probably just cut this out of the video, so it'll be a couple minutes. Okay, mission just ended. Took the time to repair my shotgun as well, so... Give me something to do. Right, let's grab this stash and get out of here. Oh, there's one other stash actually, too. Oh, that's a pretty <laughs> garbage stash, isn't it? Just get it off my mini map so I don't come back. Let me take a look in here. Oh, okay, let's not go in there. There's like an electro right in there. 
Alright, let's grab this stash and then get out of here. night vision actually it works really well it's like very dark without it it's really nice actually the goggle overlay looks good too wait can we get out this way I don't think we can actually get out this way Damn, it's like the nicest night vision I've ever seen in this game. It's like crystal clear. It doesn't make that annoying high-pitched noise. Assuming it really sucks your batteries dry though. I don't think we actually had a mission to turn that off from Sakharov, so just sell all my stuff. Oh, there's something on the ground over here. Yeah. Sell all these mutant parts to him at least. Здравствуйте, молодой человек. I think we had that, didn't we? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Someone in Rostock wanted the pseudo giant eye, so I'll hang on to that. Guess a lot of psychic resistance. This gives. Eh, some okay resistances. It's not that good, though. I wonder if we should, like, hang on to one of these for the psychic resist. I don't think we will. I think I'd rather just use, like, pills. Hmm, maybe we should, actually. I think I'll hang on to one of these. Oh good, there's a bed here. Привет, брат. Что Just скажешь? Don't mind me, dude.
All right, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Let me have my breakfast. Um, next time we will just continue the main story and go see Gatekeeper. Not really sure what that will entail. I've never heard of that NPC before, so I guess it's new to or new from this mod. Um, let's take another look at that, actually. Oh, I have a mission to search lab X8. Oh, X8. I thought it meant like X18 for a second. Yeah, still no mission for X18. But yeah, next time we'll come and see this guy. Looks like there's a few stashes we can grab as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.